A warm greeting, today is Wednesday, August 23, 2023. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia speaking. At the time of recording this video, it is 6.30 in the evening, local time in the Dominican Republic. The center of tropical storm Franklin is already beginning to move away from the Puerto Plata region and is heading towards the waters of the Atlantic. In this video, I will be discussing the forecast for tropical storm Franklin and how it is expected to strengthen into a dangerous hurricane. It may pose a long-term threat to Bermuda. On the other hand, for residents of the Yucatan Peninsula, Belize, Western Cuba, and the state of Florida, we will be closely monitoring the Western Caribbean region. Currently, there is a Central American gyre, a broad circulation, situated over this area. Some models indicate the possibility of cyclonic development just east of the Yucatan Peninsula or in the waters of the Gulf of Mexico. The potential development of a low-pressure system north of Honduras could be associated with a disturbance located to the east of Nicaragua, moving towards this area. Additionally, an area of verticity situated south of El Salvador is also expected to move over the western Caribbean regions. Conditions could marginally favor some form of cyclonic development over the next five days. But first, let's talk about Tropical Storm Franklin. As you know, Tropical Storm Franklin passed over the Dominican Republic, very close to the city of Barahona, earlier today, with sustained maximum winds of 80 km per hour. During the day, it moved northward, and currently, the circulation center has just reached the waters of the Atlantic near Puerto Plata. As forecasted, this disturbance has brought considerable rainfall, especially to the eastern half of the Dominican Republic and the capital city of Santo Domingo. Some areas have recorded up to 200 mm of accumulated precipitation, leading to flooding. The rain is expected to continue for at least the next 12 hours. However, conditions will gradually improve as Tropical Storm Franklin begins to move northeast and eastward. When it positions itself hundreds of miles north of Puerto Rico, it is expected to encounter favorable conditions for strengthening. Today, we have observed improved ventilation in the northern and northeastern quadrants, which is an indication of more favorable conditions for strengthening. Here is the track that Tropical Storm Franklin has followed. After several days of erratic movement while it was south of the Dominican Republic, it turned northwest and then north, just as the forecast indicated, making landfall near Barahona. Fortunately, it arrived as a weak tropical storm due to the organization problems it encountered to the south of the Dominican Republic. It brought along heavy rainfall, which has affected the eastern half of the country. If we look at the infrared satellite animation, you can see that as it crossed over the Dominican Republic, it lost a significant amount of convection. However, as the center moved back over water, we can see how thunderstorms are beginning to regenerate to the north and northeast of the circulation. It will begin to reorganize as it slowly moves northeast and eastward. We can also observe this strong band, which we call the system's tail, affecting the eastern half of the Dominican Republic. At times, this rain might also reach parts of western Puerto Rico, although significant rainfall accumulations are not expected. Here are the forecasted paths from the specialized models. You can see that it is expected to move northeast over the next 24 hours. Then, between Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, it will move eastward very slowly while encountering favorable conditions for strengthening. Afterward, it will start moving north. In the long term, there is quite a bit of disagreement among the specialized models regarding how close or far it might pass from Bermuda. Therefore, it's important for Bermuda to closely monitor its evolution, as it is anticipated to be a hurricane when it passes through this area. Similar to the track, there is also some uncertainty among the specialized models regarding the intensity in the long term. While some of them predict a Category 3 or 4 hurricane as it approaches Bermuda, others suggest a Category 1 or 2 hurricane. Currently, the National Hurricane Center estimates that it will strengthen into a Category 2 hurricane, and it remains to be seen how favorable the conditions will be in this area for further strengthening. Tropical Storm Franklin is the primary candidate to become the first intense hurricane of the season. Here is the official forecast from the National Hurricane Center. Generally, it will continue moving northeast and eastward until at least Friday. Then, it will take a turn towards the northwest, and according to the National Hurricane Center, by Monday afternoon, it should pass just west of Bermuda as a Category 2 hurricane. Now, let's move on to the forecast from the global models regarding Tropical Storm Franklin and the system we will be monitoring in the waters of the Caribbean and the Gulf of Mexico. Let's start with the American model. Here, you can see that during tonight, the circulation center of Tropical Storm Franklin will begin to reorganize north of the Dominican Republic. We can also see two areas of vorticity and low pressure located to the south of El Salvador and to the east of Nicaragua. According to the projection of the GFS model, 
you can see that it briefly develops a low-pressure system moving over El Salvador during Friday morning. Here, we have Tropical Storm Franklin much stronger compared to what we have today, as it encounters favorable conditions for strengthening. By the weekend, you can see that according to the GFS model, a powerful hurricane is moving northward, passing close to Bermuda. Currently, this model does not predict the development of the disturbance that we will be monitoring in the Caribbean region. By Monday afternoon, it passes at its closest point to Bermuda, possibly as Hurricane Franklin, although we don't yet know whether it will reach Category 2, 3, or even 4. Let's now take a look at the European model. Here, you can see Tropical Storm Franklin exiting the Dominican Republic at this moment. We also have those two areas of vorticity and low pressure located on either side of Central America. In the model projection, you can see that Tropical Storm Franklin moves eastward north of Puerto Rico while strengthening into a strong tropical storm by Friday night. The European model does indicate a more defined low pressure system related to those two disturbances moving north of Honduras. This is why we have started to monitor this area, even though the National Hurricane Center has not yet marked this area as an area of interest for cyclonic development. I believe that around 8 p.m. tonight, this area will be identified as an area of interest for development. Then, in the forecast, over the weekend, you can see how according to the European model, Tropical Storm Franklin strengthens into a hurricane. It also develops a tropical storm associated with the disturbance in the Caribbean, passing close to the Yucatan Peninsula and the western part of Cuba. In the long term, you can see that Hurricane Franklin moves west of Bermuda, but close enough for people to remain vigilant. We also have the possibility of a strong tropical storm or hurricane moving northeast over the Gulf of Mexico and potentially threatening the state of Florida. I also wanted to show you the forecast from the German model. Here, you can see Tropical Storm Franklin moving on a very similar trajectory to what the American and European models indicate. You can also see that the German model develops a low-pressure system in the Western Caribbean region, near the Yucatan Peninsula, during Sunday morning. Then, it moves northeast, passing over the western region of Cuba and heading towards the state of Florida. Additionally, you can see that the German model predicts a powerful hurricane, possibly a Category 3 or 4, passing very close to Bermuda, associated with what will become Hurricane Franklin. Regarding this disturbance, another reason why I believe the National Hurricane Center will mark this area as an area of interest for cyclonic development is that the ensemble members of the GFS model, some of them predict some form of development, either to the east of the Yucatan Peninsula, Belize, or over the Bay of Campeche. It's important for residents of southern Mexico, western Cuba, and Belize to be attentive to the evolution of this low-pressure system that will move through this area. The European model members are a bit more aggressive. You can see that many of them predict a tropical storm or hurricane forming in the Gulf of Mexico, moving over Florida at the beginning of next week. In fact, this represents a 70-80% chance of a tropical depression forming to the east of Belize and the Yucatan Peninsula. Well, that would be all for this video. Continue to stay tuned to Hurricane Info to stay informed about the future Hurricane Franklin and also possibly this new development that we might see in the Caribbean or the Gulf of Mexico. Although we are awaiting the National Hurricane Center's assessment, I believe that by 8 p.m. tonight, they will identify this area as an area of interest for cyclonic development. With that in mind, I hope everyone has an excellent evening, and to our friends in the Dominican Republic, I hope the damage hasn't been too significant. I'll be back tomorrow.